Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be discussing uh, port forwarding for the Xbox One uh, using uh, firmware WDWRT. The particular version I'm using is the V24 SP2, however you can use any firmware version as port forwarding uh, is pretty much the same. And also this guide will also work for other routers, however you won't be able to follow me step by step. Now the first thing we need to do is find out what IP address the Xbox One is operating on. So uh, log in to your WDWRT, click status, click LAN, scroll down and it lists all the clients on both wireless and Ethernet connections. I can see I've got an Android, my servers up here, my girlfriend's down here and this is the computer I'm on at the moment. Now the star uh, is actually my Xbox. Uh, my Xbox. Uh, the reason it's not showing the full host name is because I'm actually using a mains adapter on the Ethernet instead of wireless. I find it's better. Um, so the thing to note here is the 24. So 192.168.124. So once you identified which is your Xbox One, uh, remember the IP address. If you have got a zillion of devices, then uh, the easiest way probably to find out which is your Xbox is by looking at the MAC address and finding that out by uh, within the settings of your Xbox One. So now we know the IP address, we now need to set up the port forwarding. So scroll to the top, click NAT. Um, now the Xbox One actually has seven uh, ports we need to open versus the four on the Xbox 360. Um, so the first thing we need to do is uh, click add seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, application is Xbox. Let's put Xbox One and let's make it. Um, let's put Xbox Live One. Let's copy and paste that seven times and let's change these make sure they have all got a unique um, net, uh, application name they can probably be all the same but I like it to keep things neat and tidy so the first now the source net uh, is basically where uh, what's requesting it on the internet so you don't need to worry about that leave source net all blank uh, the first port we need to open is 88 UDP. I actually did make a, a miss a step. Let's keep it nice and simple for you. So let's add all the IP addresses first of all. So in my case was uh, 192.168.124. So I'm actually going to copy this seven times or six times. Uh, enable all of these so we don't have to do that at a later stage. And let's go back to where we were on port 88. So we then need to say we're forwarding port 88 to 88 because we're not changing it. Uh, protocols UDP. Next port is uh, both, and that is port 3074. Same again, 3074. Uh, next one is protocol both, which is port 53. 53. Next port is TCP, which is port 80. And again, we need to put 80 there. Next port we're doing is UDP, and that's port 500. And the next two we're doing UDPs, and they are port 3544, 3544. And the next port is 4500. 4500 and uh, no need to click add here click save click apply settings and there we have it the ports are now all open and forwarding to your Xbox one which should get uh, get rid of those annoying messages and also improve your online experience I hope you found this tutorial helpful uh, and I'll see you soon bye bye